everyone. We're going to do another example where we look at molecular, complete ionic, and net ionic equations just by working through a chemical reaction. So for this chemical reaction, we have potassium hydroxide added to hydrochloric acid. So remember, the first thing we have to do if we're given a word problem is put it into symbols. So what we have down here is we have KOH, right? it's one and one, plus one, minus one. KOH plus HCl yields what? Now, I also wrote in aqueous for both reactants. We can use our solubility rules or use other information that you're supposed to know in order to determine these states of matter. If you remember, anything with potassium, nitrate, ammonium, or sodium is always soluble. So potassium hydroxide is aqueous. Potassium hydroxide is al also aqueous because it's a strong base. Remember, strong bases are electrolytes. That makes them aqueous in solution. Hydrochloric acid is aqueous, not because of looking at solubility rules, but because of what you should know about strong and weak acids. HCl is a strong acid. Strong acids and strong bases are strong electrolytes, so they are aqueous. Now, the first thing we need to do is we need to figure out what goes on the right side of this arrow. Now, this looks like a double replacement reaction, and it is, but more specifically, it's a neutralization reaction. Now, looking at these reactants, what might tell you that it's neutralization? Well, you have an acid being added to a base, or a base being added to an acid. So this is a neutralization reaction. The products of neutralization reaction is always a salt plus water. Now, a salt is any ionic compound. So if we look at this, we could replace exchange ions just like we would in a double replacement. The K will combine with the chloride, the H will combine with the hydroxide. So what we get is K plus combining with Cl minus forms KCl plus, think about we have HOH, HOH is the same as H2O. So our salt in this case is potassium chloride and then we have water. Now we need states of matter. Well anything with potassium is soluble. Now, what state of matter is water? Water is a liquid. Don't second guess yourself. Okay? Water is never aqueous. Water is either going to be solid, liquid, or gas. In this case, it's liquid. Neutralization, you form water, you form it in, in the state of a liquid. So we have potassium chloride, we have water, and we have the states of matter. Now, what we can look at is breaking down all of these strong electrolytes into their ions. So this is our molecular equation. This gives the overall stoichiometry. You can make sure that it's balanced. This gives the overall stoichiometry of this reaction, but it doesn't necessarily show us what's happening in solution. So what we're going to do next is we're going to take the molecular equation and we're going to break it down further. So what we're going to do is we're going to take all of the strong electrolytes, so our strong base, our strong acid, as well as our salt, which is the soluble ionic compound, and we're going to break those down into their ions. So potassium hydroxide breaks down into K plus plus OH minus. Notice I have the symbol, I have the charge, and I have the state of matter. All three of those are important. So I have potassium hydroxide broken down, I have hydrochloric acid broken down because it's a strong acid. I left water alone. Okay, the only time you break something down is if it's an electrolyte and if it's aqueous. If something is not aqueous, you cannot break it down into its ions unless it's an ionic solid in which you're dissociating. But anything that's a liquid or a gas, you can never dissociate. So we're going to leave water alone and we have K plus and Cl minus broken down from the soluble ionic salt that was formed from this reaction. And so what we're going to do is take a look at this complete ionic equation and figure out if there's anything that we can cancel out. So when you look at this, you should notice that you have ions that are the same on the left and on the right. Well, on the left we have K plus, on the right we have K plus. I'm going to cancel this out. 
Okay, anything else that you see that we could cancel out? Cl minus. Okay, so what we just did is we just canceled out the chloride ions. What we just canceled out were our spectator ions. Okay, our spectators were the ones that were the same on the left and the right. They didn't participate in this reaction at all. They stayed as ions. So what this leaves us is a net ionic equation. We have OH minus, which is aqueous, plus H plus, which is aqueous, combining to form liquid water. This is your net ionic equation for every single neutralization reaction. The hydroxide from the base combines with the hydrogen ion from the acid and forms water. So this is our net ionic equation and this shows the ions that participate in the neutralization reaction.